30 seconds in and I'm absolutely buggered. Oh, my groin. Ah! Oh. Oh. Ah! I hate it, I hate it. Hello, you good things, and welcome back to The Slice. My name is Rog, but more importantly today, welcome to Radelaide. To most people, it's the city of churches, but to me, it is a city obsessed with footy. Possibly the greatest part about footy is all the positive effects it has on your health and well-being, whether that be physically or mentally. And today I'm joined by someone that plays at the absolute elite level, Port Adelaide AFLW, that is Emily Borg. And after I'm finished picking her brains about health and fitness, then I'll be heading out to Adelaide, getting outside of my comfort zone and doing something I've never ever done before. Emily, thanks so much for joining me. Your uh, third season of AFLW coming up. I'm so excited. Um, I feel like we've had such a long off season. It's around six months. Me personally, I can't wait. I mean, the whole league is growing. Port Adelaide AFLW as a club are a couple of years in now. How are you starting to see the, uh, the growth of, of your club, specifically Port Adelaide? Yeah, so I think in our first inaugural season, we had about 16 girls who had never played AFLW. So for us going into that season was um, like, it was, it was nerve wracking for all of us, especially us younger girls. But to have the development of like an Ange Foley, Aaron mm. Phillips in that first season was huge. Um, and I understand as a kid, you were a bit of a cross-code athlete. You were a superstar across multiple sort of sports. Is, is my information correct? Yeah, so I used to do athletics and netball as well. They were my two main sports back then. Athletics, I did shot put and discus. Yes. And um, I loved my throwing and represented South Australia. I came second in Australia. Oh, if you don't mind. And, um, <laughs> how do you stumble across footy and how do you fall in love with that and make that your passion? Yeah, so I've grown up um, supporting football. My mum and dad, brother and sister as well. We've all supported our our own teams. My sister started her football when she was about 16 so I was around 14 mm. and one night they needed a fill in for their team and I was like oh well maybe I can fill in. I had a netball comp coming up in about two weeks so mum was like nah you're not doing this you could break a finger do you hurt yourself do whatever mm. and then dad's <laughs> like oh maybe you can and then Anyways, long story short mum ended up coming around to it and so I filled in on a Friday night um, and I absolutely loved it and haven't looked back since. Today we are really uh, invested in the health and well-being aspect of playing footy um, and all sorts of sports. Being such a cross-code athlete as you were and being so talented at all of them, how important was it and how uh, profound was health and wellness on you growing up? Yeah, it, it was a big thing for me, but I think I'm lucky with my family and all my friends that I have around me to support me. And um, mum has always been a big preacher of like well-being for us girls, mm. especially. Um, it, it's come a long way in the way that like well-being is acted on now. In playing for Port Adelaide, we have so many opportunities to meet with a psychologist or anything we need, mm. which is really nice to know that we have that support. How, how important do you think playing sport as a kid is for both your physical and mental well-being? I think like especially playing in a team sport for me, you just get you get that excitement out of it. Like playing on the weekend, whether you win or lose, mm. it's just that fun of rolling around in the mud in that winter sport for football or like being on the netball court on a Saturday and um, yeah, doing well as a team. Or even if you do bad, it's still like it's just the excitement. It's funny, like there's some, some of the turn-offs of playing footy to some people is that you are rolling around the mud, it's winter, it's cold. But I think the camaraderie that comes when you're all in it together, you're with your mates, you're having a laugh. There's nothing, I think that's what makes it so special and, and how it can improve your mental well-being. Is it something that you ever think about where, you know, I know growing up, I used to idolise Eddie Betts, I would idolise Brendan Favola, some of my favourite players. Um, but people like yourself growing up, you didn't really have too many female models to idolise because the lead, what, league wasn't around. But now this new wave coming through and the kids that are watching, they will look up to people like you. Is that something that you, that you think about consciously at all? Yeah, definitely. Like growing up, I would always look at the men, like men's sport, like when I was that eight years old or nine years old. So I didn't really think it was an opportunity for me to be able to go into that kind of sport. But um, now growing up, even from talking to little girls and going out to my old local football club sometimes, like the girls say, we love, we watched you on the TV on the weekend. And like, um, they say how they want to join me out there one day, which I think is so important to, from 
what it used to be like with me watching those men. Here we are when AFLW is becoming a huge um, influence on society even, which is. is exciting. Have you ever played this or that before? I have played it once, um, yeah, so let's go. All right, let's go. So beach or river if you were to have a little weekend away? Beach. Really? Beach, yeah. I think I'm a river person. I love I love getting my hands dirty and muddy. Yeah, it just know. makes me a bit nervous not seeing it in the water. That's fair enough. Yeah. That is fair enough. What about flexibility or strength if you could only be elite at one? Strength. I think so. Key defender. Yeah, you want you wanna have the strength about you. Yeah, flexibility I don't have as well, so <laughs> ice bath or sauna? Sauna. Yeah, I don't know if anyone would prefer an ice bath. No, I, I like the sauna. And lastly, Pilates or weight training? Pilates. Really? Yeah, I love Pilates and my sister's a Pilates instructor, which works out nice. It me. seems like a lot of players are getting into Pilates now, aren't they? Yeah, all of us girls love our Pilates. Like in off season, that's our main activity we do. Well, I'm about to go do my first ever Pilates session right now. So thank you so much for coming on. Couldn't appreciate it anymore. It's been great getting to know nah, you. Thanks for having me. Thank good you luck so with your Pilates. Cheers, good luck for the season. Thank you. Emery, thank you so much for having us at Strong Pilates here. This is my first time. I do come from a footballing background. But there are a lot of footballers now, like your Joel Selwoods and whatnot, who are um, plenty of the AFLW players are as well, that are doing Pilates. Do you think that Pilates can help you in football? Oh, for sure, yeah. We get plenty of athletes that come in here, um, especially those who are looking to improve flexibility, mm. strength. Because I, I think there's been a big shift where maybe five to 10 years ago, someone told you, or one of my mates said they're gonna go do Pilates. You might think that's a bit easy, mate. How about you go to the gym and actually do a proper workout? Right. But now it's an absolute movement. Everyone's doing Pilates and someone like me comes in here and they and they can't, can't do anything. Yeah, well, I mean, we speak to our members every day and it's like, Part of the reason they come here is for that like post workout mm. or fitness. How would they feel? They get a nice cold towel after, and it's like a little part on the back from the instructor. I think the most like important part of that is a lot of people that maybe they're not into their exercise yet. They think it's just about improving like your physical appearance, but it's not really like that. That can be an aspect of it. And this is my debut Pilates session, so you're challenging me to do that, but I've got a bit of a challenge for you. Right. You know, I'm a footy head. Do you think it's possible to work this beautiful AFL play footy into our reformer workout today? Let's give it a go. Let's try, thank you. Oh, I feel like I'm in the Olympics. <laughs> Feels good. I oh, do I what? Oh. 30 seconds in and I'm absolutely buggered. Starting to feel it in the groin. I hate it, I hate it. Oh, my groin. Okay. Oh. Ah. All right. All right, starting to be a lot less fun. Oh. You know, I've never had a six pack in all my life. And I think this could be the recipe. Oh my God, that is burning my core. Oh. All right. I think we've covered all bases. I feel extraordinary, I feel a million bucks. Thank you, can we have a sweaty hug? Of course. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. What a pleasure it has been in Adelaide today, making sure my fitness, my wellness, my health, physically and mentally is all in check. So thanks again to Emily Borg from the Port Adelaide AFLW Football Club and also to Emery from Strong Pilates. I worked out muscles that I didn't even know I had before. So make sure you keep on checking out AFL Play on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, the lot. And on top of that, keep on sending in your footy faves and you could be the one show next week on The Slice. Thanks, Eves.